Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm actually terrified. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm gonna be doing something that I wanted to do for a really long time. I've seen it everywhere. It's supposed to help your makeup lay down better. It's supposed to help your skin absorb moisture and skincare products way better. I was terrified so I avoided it for very many years because of the myth that when you shave things come back thicker, darker, all that kind of good stuff. But I'm finally brave enough to do it. I looked up a lot of different content creators, googled it. I like looked into a ton of the research to make sure that I'm not doing something that will screw up my skin because I've put so much effort <laughs> ever since I turned 30 into my skin. I'm gonna finally try it. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Today, we're talking about dermaplaning. I've got my, hang on, let me actually open this box. I've got the Dr. Barbara Sturm aloe vera gel. I watched another video and it said that aloe vera gel is the way you wanna go because it'll create a lot of slip, which is what you want. I've double cleansed my face today, did a little bit of exfoliant, then, then like a hydrating cleanser to prepare it for what it's about to go through. A fresh little razors and I've got a mirror right here. So if I'm not looking at you guys, it's because I'm trying to make sure I don't shave my face off, so. I have not put on any moisturizer in order to do this process. So my skin looks and feels so dry. Oh my God. I can't actually can't wait to just like put this on. Also want to shout out a creator who actually posted like a really good step-by-step -step to this for this. And she was a woman of color. So I'm going to tag her in this because she's who gave me the courage to do this truly. Okay. The actual steps seem pretty simple. Taking the aloe vera gel and applying all over the skin. I'm actually kind of afraid of what I'm going to see as I take <laughs> all this hair off because um, I've never done this before and I know I've got some fuzzy somewhere. Guys, I'm so nervous. I'm like legit super nervous. Get them cheeky cheeks. The stash. Oh, this is, and it's super slippery. Like this is just, this is, this just feels, I'm, I need to just incorporate this into my routine actually because it feels quite nice. I have my little cotton pad to wipe off as I go along. Ooh, I should have got a towel. We're just gonna do that. The girl said, pull on your skin and then we're gonna shave in a downward motion. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Oh my God. Oh my, I'm actually terrified. Oh, ooh, <gasps> ooh. Okay. Oh, we're getting something. We're getting a lot of something. Do y'all see that? Wait, this is my favorite part. I love when they like wipe it off on the thing. You can see all this stuff. There it is. We're gonna keep going, but I'm actually gonna get my snail mucin because it's not giving me quite the slip that I thought and I saw another girl use snail mucin. We've got our snail mucin. We're gonna squeeze some of that on there. We're gonna go and double get all that slip because what you don't want in any shaving situation is friction, right? But look at how smooth that already looks like. I might be upset at myself that I didn't do this sooner, honestly. No one talks about the like scraping sound that you can hear <laughs> the razor make, which is actually kind of satisfying. I mean, maybe that's just me, but like I'm finding it quite, oh, oh. That's a, that's a good one right there. I already know this area got some, let me start talking before I get all that. Wow, wow. Yeah guys, that scrape, that like sound of it catching the hairs is very, very satisfying. All right. Under your chin. This side, so I've done I've done one side so far. This is so smooth. Like, yeah, I didn't, I, yeah, you don't really like notice the hairs on your face until you get rid of them. And then you're like, oh, maybe I should take care of that because it feels amazing when they're not there. We're gonna put a bit more snow mousse in to increase that slip. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, just gliding down. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh my goodness. Ooh. To self and to everyone here, go very slow. I got a head of myself. Got a little big for my britches and I might have just given myself a little nick, but I don't think it's anything serious. I, don't, I consider myself a kind of a patient person, but I'm very tempted to go really fast when I do this. That would be a mistake. Look at, look at this. Like, do you see? Do you see? Like, I need to do the rest of my skincare, but honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit upset I haven't done this already. Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 recommend I'm planning. I'm gonna like, you know, keep an eye out, make sure I don't have any like weird reactions or anything. I think the aloe vera gel and the snail mucin is actually pilling. So I don't recommend combining those two things, but it just feels really smooth and really great. I'm gonna go cleanse my face and then do the rest of my skincare routine. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cleansed my face again and like just look at the smooth, it, it feels baby soft. It legitimately feels baby soft. I wish I would have done this sooner. 
I'm silly for not doing this sooner. I'm now gonna do the rest of my skincare routine, which I feel like is going to bang. Now that it ain't got all these baby hairs on it and make sure that I stay on top of like any potential irritation that happens over the next couple days. One product I know I'll be using just to make sure that like my skin stays exfoliated and kind of like tended to is this PSA Skin Glow Toner. Literally poreless when I use this, poreless. So I just wanna make sure that it's like my skin's like exfoliated but also hydrated that way as the hairs grow back, they're not causing any problems. But I think it's gonna be great. Like, I'm excited to kind of make this a part of my actual regular skincare routine. Do y'all dermaplane? Is this something you've been doing already and I'm like really late? Could you let me know? Like, could you let me know if I'm just like really late to this? Because my mind is blown. My mind is actually blown. Just let's get into this close up. You're in my hands now. Get into this close up. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. All right. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm editing my dermaplaning video right now. I am literally like as we speak, but I thought I might as well add a little bit to talk about the results after it's been like, I think maybe like one or two weeks because that's really the part that was freaking me out was the possibility that I would get like ingrown hairs, black spots, hyperpigmentation. As you can see, we are still good. I still love the results. I 100% still plan on dermaplaning as like a regular thing. The way that my like makeup has been laying down these last like two weeks, incredible. Like it eats, it eats. I'm gonna let y'all know right now it eats, okay? <laughs> Keep up on your exfoliation after you do it. I waited maybe a week before I started using exfoliating products again. And I think that really helped as well in terms of just making sure there's no irritation, bumps, ingrowns. But yeah, just thought I'd check in with you guys and give you guys the real like, you know, real tea, right? Cause the real tea is the after after. <laughs> All right guys, bye.